Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Austin with Colorado Custom Game Calls, and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to operate our NOCO Whiteout Snow Goose Call. So stay tuned, and I'll show you some tricks. Okay, so we're not the only snow goose call on the market, obviously, but some people need a little bit of help on how to operate it and get the sounds out of it the way they should sound because people are trying to use these as short rig goose calls and that's not what they are. The guts in these are a lot shorter and a lot narrower on the reed. So there's the gut set that we're using. And we're just going to do some simple stuff and hopefully this will help you by the end. So... You treat it just like a short reed goose call, the way that you put it up to your mouth and the way that you hold it. However, your air presentation is going to be the big difference. I, I always say in a short reed goose call for Canada's is hut. That is not what we're doing here. Today, we're doing da, da and ta with a D and a T. Da, ta, da, ta, da, ta. Very, very simple. And I'm just presenting that air through my diaphragm up through my mouth into the call. And you'll hear the and you'll hear this in just a second. And all I'm saying there is da ta da da ta da ta. That's the snow goose bark. Now, obviously that sounds just like a single snow goose, but if you want to sound like more, you're just going to have to speed it up and really get your tongue going. <laughs> now, the next note that I'm going to show you is their feeding growl noise that they do. Now, this one is very similar to a short read Canada call that I do. I have a series on that. If you want to learn how to do that, um, go check out the feeding growl that we do on the short read goose call, and it is on our YouTube channel. But what I'm doing here is I'm gurgling water. If you gurgling water is too much for you, you can do do d o do 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 do. That is also a uh, short reed goose call trick too on the Canada call. It's very effective on this as well. <laughs> One more tip on that, opening and closing of your hand. You're going to sound like more birds, and you're going to sound like different pitches as you play with your own hand. <laughs> you can also have a little voice inflection and sound like different birds. So the more birds you sound like, the more realistic you're going to be. There's one more note I'm going to show you. It's not too terribly hard. I have heard it in the field quite a few times, and it's that buzz that those snow geese do. Bzz, bzz, and that's exactly what I'm doing in the call. Now, once you have all three of those down, and I recommend that you do them all each individually, but once you have them all, throw it into a cadence and go... I mean, depending on the size of the flock, the more noise you make with snow geese, the better you're going to be. Well, the reason why we offer these is because during Canada season, most states, I don't know about all of them, but especially in Colorado, you cannot use electronic calls to hunt snow geese. So if we get a flock of snow geese that came in with a pack of Canada's, here you go. This is your ticket. <laughs> Our no 
coat wide out and how to operate it. And hopefully this helped you out with any other snow goose calls that you have. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out at ColoradoCustomGameCalls.com. Thanks for tuning in. Ha, ha, ha.